I'm Sarah and welcome to Hen Corner. We love inviting friends and family around here, especially at Christmas time. But sometimes we have those last minute guests and we think, ah, we haven't got enough stuff or what can we give them as a treat? Even if people come around for a drink, it's great to give them something to nibble on um, to join in the festivities and celebrations this time of the year. I'm going to show you um, a tip for a handy canapé um, that can be made by just making sure you've got a packet of filo pastry in the fridge. It costs less than a couple of quid and then you can grab other items that you happen to have in the fridge or the store cupboard and you can create some wonderful treats just in a couple of minutes. Everyone will be impressed and you'll know that actually it wasn't that difficult. There we go. This filo is very popular for making the Mediterranean treats, baklava, the Asian samosas, lots of things that we enjoy on a regular basis. We're cutting it into squares so we end up with eight piles of squares, stack them up and then we're ready to fill them with the fillings of your choice. So I'm going to cut little squares of cheddar and I've got some brie. Now brie is lovely paired with cranberry sauce but that all got used up on the turkey. So we're going to see what other treats we've got to go with the brie. So to start to fill the phyllo sheets, brushing with melted butter and then setting the sheets at an angle. Melted butter. So we've got four layers of phyllo pastry. A piece of cheddar cheese. And I've got some apple and chilli jelly. This is great. It's made with the leftover apple pulp after we've made our cider here at Hen Corner. It's boiled up and then strained, mixed with sugar and chilli. And then this parcel here, we fold up, give it a pinch, and that can go on a baking tray, ready to go in the oven. We're now going to move on to the brie, and I'm going to pair that with some pumpkin and apple chutney that I made earlier on in the year. Four layers again, with melted butter in between, layering them up slightly at angles. And this time it's a square of brie, a spoon of pumpkin and apple chutney. I gather up the edges. Give it a pinch. And then that's ready to go on the tray and into the oven. So this is to our third recipe. I made my own mincemeat this year, first time. I'm very pleased with it. It's basically dried fruit, sugar, brandy, grated apple off the tree, and then I'm not a big fan of suet, so I've used grated butter instead. So you do get that bit of fat that flows through, but I've got butter rather than suet in the mincemeat. So this is some mincemeat that I made earlier on in the year. Just a little spoon of that. And again, draw it together. It's been sitting in the brandy, infusing for a month or so. And they will be the nicest mince pies that you'll have this season. Well, we've taken the phyllo parcels out of the oven. They were just in there for about eight minutes. We've got our mincemeat ones that we're going to dust with icing sugar and then our cheesy savoury ones that we can pass around with drinks as our guests arrive. As you saw when I was making them, it's something you could invite your friends to join in with, something that you could make together over a glass of wine. Really doesn't have to take you away from your guests. So just to finish with a dusting of icing sugar to give that frosted snow effect with a glass of mulled wine and they're ready to pass round. For the savoury parcels, let's see what we've got inside. Oh, it's oozing. This must be the cheddar with the apple and chilli jelly. That would be gorgeous with a glass of port. That's phyllo parcels, both sweet and savoury. And from us here at Hen Corner, we wish you a Merry Christmas. Mm -hmm.